most scholars of the scriptures know that the way time is here on earth is not the way time is in heaven. The way heaven perceives time is different than the way we perceive time here. 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 8 tells us not to be ignorant. In other words, be informed and know that one day in heaven equals a thousand years on earth. And 1,000 years on earth equals but a day in heaven. So, the way time is here on earth is not the way time is in heaven. You want a second witness? Let's take a look at Psalms chapter 90 and verse 4. It says the same thing we just read. Again, a thousand years in the Almighty's sight are but as a day or a few hours in the night. So there it is. 1,000 years in His sight are but as yesterday. The reason I'm bringing this up is because people, believers, are confused when they read Genesis chapter 1 concerning the six, seven days of creation or recreation of the earth. They don't realize that you can't take those days and assign them to time here on earth. No. You take those days and you convert them into thousand year periods here on earth. When believers begin to take the six, seven days of creation or recreation of the earth literally and begin to apply them to time here on earth, that's when they get lost. They must take into consideration what it says in Second Peter 3.8 and Psalms chapter 90 and verse 4. That a day in heaven equals a thousand years on earth. In other words, you can't take those six literal days in heaven and apply them literally to time on earth. No, we were given a calendar to go by here on earth. You can read about it in Genesis chapter 1 verses 14 through 19. That calendar is according to the lights that were placed in the firmament. That would be the sun and the moon. They were given for us to keep track of the seasons, the days, and the years. Okay? That's for us, not for heaven. So, if you're trying to find the Sabbath based on the six days, seven days of creation or recreation of the earth that you read about in Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2, you're going to get lost. Because then you would have to convert those six days in heaven to thousand year periods on earth. Because a day in heaven is just a thousand years on earth. The way to find the Sabbath here on earth is according to the sun and the moon. As it says here, they were given for days. There is a Sabbath coming up, but it is a thousand year period. A millennial Sabbath, according to Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2. But the way to find the Sabbath, the weekly Sabbath here on earth, is according to the sun and the moon, the signs or signals that they give. So, as you can see, there are differences, and that's why most can't find the Sabbath. The weekly Sabbath here on earth is because they don't take this, what I'm saying, into consideration. They don't know how to rationalize this using common sense. They assume that the Gregorian calendar lays it just nicely for them where they can find the Sabbath. Not realizing that this calendar comes from their own enemies, the Romans. So you're going to trust that calendar to give you the right Sabbath days or seven days of the week. When it tells you here in the scriptures what you ought to go by. The signs of the sun, the moon, which gives a lot more signs than the sun. And these two lights, the sun and the moon, are for seasons, right? Fall, winter, spring, summer are for days, days, including Sabbath day, and years. So there it is. I mean, I don't understand what the confusion is. I guess some people don't know how to put one and two together and get the sum total of what the scriptures are trying to tell you but anyways i'll have more on this as i continue 
to bring forth videos but for now I'll just end it right here so hopefully this video has made sense and I hope it blesses those with the eyes to see the ears to hear and the mind to comprehend so on that note much love till next time shalom